Everything you see here, with the exception of a bottle of water, was included in our April kit. Uh, this chipboard piece is a lovely corner flourish from Too Crafty. Um, we have Magical Micas from Lindy's Stamp Gang. The brush, okay, the brush is mine. I'm hoping y'all have a brush. It's a little tiny little flat head. I hope that's what they call it, brush. I'm, I'm, I'm not that kind of artist, but it's a little brush. Yeah. The Cameo was in the main kit for our April kit, yes. And then the Smooch Pearlized Ink in Lettuce. This is a new release from Clear Snap, new released from Bow Bunny, uh, new released from Too Crafty. And then, um, yeah, that's what you need. And the colors with the mica and the smooch do, of course, coordinate with the April kit. So let's get busy and see what we can do with this piece of chipboard. Very, very quick, use mica. If you open up your mica, you're going to see that it is a little pink powder. And you're probably looking at it like I looked at it the first time I was ever introduced to mica and said, okay, exactly what am I supposed to do with that? I'm going to show you what I like to do with it. Uh, lots of fun. For this, you'll need a water bottle. It's a whatever water bottle. This is my water bottle. You get your water bottle and we'll play. All right. I'm just going to spray my craft mat. I love my craft mat because you can just make it messy and wipe it up and nothing sticks to it and nothing gets on my counter, which would just make my husband mad. So let's play. I'm just going to get my paintbrush a little wet and I don't know if you can see the uh, little water droplets here, but I just dabbed it in a water droplet. I'm going to pick a little bit of the mica up on my brush and I'm going to drop it back in a water droplet. Mica will, this well this mica, this mica is special. It will change colors when it is mixed with the water. It's got an opalescent sheen to it. It is absolutely gorgeous. It also has got a sealant built in. Lindy's Stamp Gang Mica has the sealant already in it. You don't need to do anything with it except get it wet and paint. You now have a paint. So what I'm going to do is I am just, oh, maybe I made that a little too watery. I am just going to paint my bars. I'm probably going to have to add a little more mica. Too much water. Because I like to have my colors really pop. And that's the wonderful thing about these magical micas, is you can keep layering the color as much as you would like and each time it's going to get a little bit more rich and a little bit more vibrant. So you can put on just a very light layer, which is going to give you a very light sheen. Or you can really smack that stuff on there and have a really nice in-your-face coverage sheen. It's up to you and what you're doing. That's actually coming out okay. I don't think I'm going to need to use any more. It's got a beautiful opalescent sheen to it. Very easy to go on. Lasts forever. We are going to be having a tutorial specifically on these micas coming up soon. Um, only because I have become addicted to them. And I am certain that you will too once you see how amazing these colors are. They are rocking. Okay, that's that. That's it. You just painted with mica. Clean it up and done. So what I have done is I painted the straight pieces of this corner with the mica and I'm going to come back in with my clear snap smooch pearlized ink in lettuce. This is in your kit. This is a new release, CHA Winter 2011 from Clear Snap. And it just so happens to coordinate perfectly 
with our April kit. And what I'm going to do with this, you can see the smooch has a very fine brush on it. And this brush is going to allow you to get into these tiny little pieces of chipboard that are cut so intricately, such as this piece of Too Crafty chipboard. And we do use a lot of Dusty Attic chipboard in our kits, and that is very, very detailed and intricate. And these brushes are perfect for it. You get good coverage with the inks. The inks are pearlized. They are going to stand out. They're going to shine. These inks can go on anything, not just chipboard. You can paint metals with them. You can paint resins with them. You can paint paper um, of anything. I haven't found, oh, you know what? I don't know about acrylic. I think you can paint acrylic with them but you do have to hit it with a heat gun to facilitate the dry time. Otherwise it'll smear. But the color, the paint, and they have so many different gorgeous colors, always coming out with more gorgeous colors. We love Smooch at Swirly Doos. Always look at an embellishment and think what can you do to this embellishment to make it even better. Of course, there's always a time when, you know, uh, less is more. I am a firm believer in less is more. But I'm also a firm believer in embellishing your embellishments. Bringing it out. Making it better. And just these little tiny touches adding a pearl, adding a rhinestone, adding some color, all make it better. And it's the little tiny details that are going to draw the eye of the person, hopefully, looking at your page. Now, when I was working on this page, or this piece, excuse me, I thought, oh, well, that looks pretty. What can I do to make it better? Even after the pearls, what can we do? To make this better. Now assuming that this is going to go in the corner of the layout or possibly with a photo here, I grabbed this cameo that came in the main kit for April and just lay it here. And that can be glued on using pretty well any adhesive. Um, And that's going to add even more to your project. If you want to take it a step further, there's holes in this cameo. You can bring in ribbons. You can bring in the flowers. But I think that that with the pearls, with the shiny paints and the micas, I think that really gives it a very soft, elegant feel, which goes with the feel of the papers that we're using for this month. Hopefully you have enjoyed that tutorial and we'll see some of these on your layouts. We will see you back in just a little while with more tutorials. Thanks!